This is the maiden flight of my newly constructed Firebird by Dancing Wings. Will it fly? Will it do loops and barrel rolls? Will I be able to do takeoffs and landings? Or will it crash and burn? I'm on my way to the park to find out. Well, it's a really good morning for a test flight of the little Firebird. There's uh, not a breath of wind and there's a bit of cloud to stop the sun. So I'm just going to do a radio test before I take off. Right, let's give it a throw. Look at that, she flies just like that. See, she does a right turn. Yes, she does a right turn and a left turn. Seems very well behaved. Amazing. I think it's a big little indoor plane too. Well, that went a lot better than my Savage Bobber Maiden flight. What? Okay, we're uh, all set to give another throw. She flew pretty well straight from the start, but I'm keen to learn about its quirks and get it set up right. Feels a lot more stable than the Savage Bobber. I'm just getting used to its little quirks. We'll see if it does a barrel roll. Well, when I hit the power, it goes up. I need to adjust the uh, angle of the motor, I think. slow barrel roll but I've only got it on low rate at the moment. Now, so when I throttle up it goes up like a rocket. Yeah, it does loops when I throttle up. I need to adjust that angle of the motor. I'm trying to do some low stuff now. Now I'm just going to switch to high rate to see, whoa, then like that, and get a bit of height first, I don't know what happened then. Okay, I'm high rate now. See, yeah, high rate. it doesn't like high rate for some reason. There's a bit of breeze now. I feel that breeze. Yeah, definitely need to fix that throttle. Whoa! Interesting. No, it does inverted just. Nicely, actually. The high rate it would probably do it, but I'm a bit scared to switch on high rate. It seems to go silly when I do that. Yeah, quite good stalling recovery. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think, this little plane. Okay, I've now got two 500 mAh batteries in there. It's feeling quite a bit heavier, and we'll see how she flies. Oh, we're airborne. Feeling a lot different. Feel like she gets some height. Just to get it out of safety. He's sitting kind of out there drying those wings off. 
Just try and do some close up stuff here. Oh, interesting. Looks like a bit of a bird migration going on here. Whoa, beautiful bird. Whoa, too close to the tree. I think it's getting gusty up there. Oh yes, there's definitely wind gusts up there. Okay, I better bring it in. I thought I'd give this little spot a try because it's got a little cricket pitch which might be okay for practicing takeoffs and landings. It's day two and I've done a few mods. I've repaired the undercarriage which uh, came loose or broke uh, after the first day's flying and I've put some expo in on the high rate so I can use high rate and I've angled the motor down so when I open it, the throttle it doesn't go, go up so much. It was great having this little takeoff and landing strip in this field, however the open space was a lot smaller than the other side. Also when, once you got above tree height there was quite a bit of turbulence. Got high right now. See if I can bring him in for a landing. Well, we've run out of power. That looks quick. Well, I've put the larger batteries in the plane now, so we'll see how that goes. The wind's getting up, unfortunately, so that might affect it. A bit more weight on the plane now, so hopefully we'll be more comfortable with this wind. Well, it's high rate, it's a bit, a bit easy to control. I'll put some expo in the high rate now, so it's a little bit more controllable. But I've still got full movement. Keep to keep out of those trees. Jump the goalposts. Crazy, there's heard turbulence up there. so I'm having to go home and I'll come back tomorrow morning first thing before the wind gets up and give the Firebird another fly. Well, how am I feeling about the Firebird now? Well, I've adjusted the controls so that I've got high rate working and I've put quite a bit of exponential on so that it's not too touchy for normal flying but I've got full control of the rudder and elevator now and today I was able to do some inverted flight so that was good um, I've also got lots of ailerons and rudder for doing barrel rolls and loops. I just need a, a day with some calm weather and I'll be able to test out the aerobatics a bit better. I think the motor is better positioned now, pointing down a bit more. It still goes up quite fast when I power it on. Uh, and 
the undercarriage is holding on now, so that's good. The Firebird fits quite easily into a small backpack. Okay, so there's very little wind today, so we'll give this takeoff for landings a bit of another try. See if we can do a landing. Not quite there yet. And it's so nice flying it with no wind. Bring it in for a landing. Nope, not there yet. Okay, we're trying to do a nice circuit. Time to enjoy these lovely calm conditions. Was a bit okay. See how she likes. Let's watch that landing one more time. Yay! Well, folks, that's it for this video. After three days of flying it in the park, I think I've got the little firebird sorted out quite well. I've found out that it flies really well in nice calm conditions. I can do takeoffs and landings on nice smooth pavement, and I can do aerobatics up in the sky. Next, I'd like to try it out for indoor flying. Stay tuned for updates on how I get on with that. Bye for now.